suctioning with a yankar. This is a yankar. Yankar. It looks like this. It is also called a tonsil suction or sometimes a tonsil tube. It connects to the suction tubing. The suction tubing runs to the suction regulator. The suction regulator has a on and off button. Off. Continuous. And it makes some noise. You put your yang cower on. You can hit that on your hand to hear it working. We use this to suction gross secretions out of people's mouths. The word gross meaning large quantity. If a person is throwing up, you put his head over to the side so he throws up. Turn over there. Have him throw out up out of his mouth. Turn him over, roll him over so he throws up out over the bed and suction the mouth so he can breathe again. If he's coughing and secretions are in his mouth, stick that in his mouth. Suck up all those secretions. Get some of his nose. This one has no device on it to regulate the suction. Some have a little hole that you can close to apply the suction. This one doesn't. This is often used this is often used to suction the airway before intubation. Gonna suction out your throat there. Gonna suction out your throat. Let's put that right in there and suck around. The anchor. The suction catheter. It's in the suction catheter tray. You open up the tray and it's nicely placed in there, sterile. You would then put on your sterile gloves. And using sterile technique, one hand connects it to the suction tubing, which is the dirty hand, and one hand, the clean hand, controls the tip of the suction catheter. Then you usually use this by going down the nares. Gonna suction you. Gonna make you cough. Push that all the way down to the airway. Apply suction and suck out those secretions. When you exit the nair, keep control of it so it doesn't fly around the room. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm.